Hey guys, sorry for the late start this- well, it's not even this morning anymore, but sorry for the late start today. I'm glad you guys can make it. I'm so ready to start this game. Oh my god! It's Ocarina of Time. Considered to be one of the greatest games, if not the greatest game of all time, and I've never finished it! So I think it's time that I sit down and play through this game, because... I mean, come on, I call myself a Zelda fan, and yet I've never finished this game. It's time to finish it. Welcome, God, God, Mod God, God, God. <laughs> Welcome, Mod God, Master Banda, and done randomly. And Zampt, Zampt is here too. Awesome. Glad you guys can make it. But yeah, I apologize for the late start today. I uh, my alarm clock didn't go off this morning, and so I didn't wake up until like almost 9:30. I just woke up and I was like, hmm, it's oddly bright outside. Oh shit, it's late. <laughs> So then I got up and did my house chores, took the dog out, and now I'm here. And I also got a phone call. I'm trying to sell this piece of shit iPhone. No offense to anyone who likes Apple, but I've been trying to trade this and or sell this and somebody contacted me this morning as well, so I've been talking to them and hopefully they don't flake out and I can go trade this phone today. Um, somebody wants to trade me their Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge, which I am all about. I can't wait. I hope they don't flake out. I really want that phone. But anyways, let's get this music turned off, and the game turned on, and we'll get started. Here we go, guys. This is it. Okay, I need a really, really retarded, stupid, funny name for Link. So, I'm gonna let you guys start spitting out names at me. And I'll pick the one I like the best. Did I beat any other Zelda games? I've already played through Wind Waker on stream, and I've played through A Link to the Past. Hi, Receptive! Welcome back. Here we go! Okay. We need a funny name for Link. Lincoln? <laughs> I was gonna do something along the lines of what we did um, on A Link to the Past. I think we, we named Link my ass. Jag. <laughs> we named Link my ass, so whenever somebody was like, Oh, Link! It's, it was like, Oh, my ass! I was thinking either Link or Dick Butt, or something... Something really dumb and perverted and funny. So you can say which of those you think are best after you beat this. <laughs> so right now all we have is Lincoln and Jag. I think I might do Dick Butt. Just because Dick Butt is funny. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Oh, that's a good idea. That's a good idea. I like- I like- oh fuck. Fuck face. <laughs> I like the idea of oh fuck. We'll see what that sounds like. Gooch. <laughs> oh, where's the- there it is. Can we put an exclamation? I don't think there's any... There's no numbers or symbols. Well, there's numbers, but there's no symbols, so I can't put an exclamation mark at the end of that. The chat bo Oh, okay, thanks for letting me know. I know why it's frozen. Give me just a second. I know why... It's still stuck there from the last time. I, I never cleared it out. Hold on. I can fix it. There we go. It's ready to go. That should fix it. Put that back down there. Okay, cool. Thanks for letting me know, guys. You guys are awesome. Okay, I think, unless somebody else spits something out, I think we're gonna go with oh fuck. I kinda like that. Or oh shit. <laughs> it should be working. Yeah, it's working. Okay. Or we could do oh shit. Oh shit would be funny. I'm not sure. The lack of space? What do you mean, the lack of space? <laughs> do you not like that I'm overlapping my chat? Hmm. Now, I don't know if I want to go with oh fuck or oh shit. Language, I'm totally offended. Well, that's why I have a disclaimer when you enter the channel. It says this channel, or the caster is 
intended this channel for mature audiences only, and you clicked OK, so... That's on you. Okay, we're gonna go with oh fuck. Between the O and the fuck. <laughs> oh, you don't like not having a space there? I can change it. We'll put a space there. There we go. <laughs> File one. Oh fuck. I wish there was an exclamation mark there. But there were no symbols. The Great Deku Tree. Do you guys say Deku or Deku? Oh fuck, seems like a weird foreign name. So silent. Each Kokiri has his or own guardian fairy. Except for Link, because nobody likes him. I have a guy that works with me called You Fuck? No. A poor guy. I can never tell if he was crying there or if he was just really cold. It sounds like he's shivering. He's like. <laughs> I guess he's having a bad dream. He's Turkish. It's funny. Deku. I say it both ways, I can never decide which way to say it. Sometimes I say Deku, sometimes I say Deku. I say screw pronunciation. Oh no! I really wish I had a 3DS emulator. Because I love the way they redid the graphics for the 3DS version. Navi, Navi, where art thou? Come hither. Hey, Matthew! Welcome back! Boom. <laughs> oh, Navi the Fairy, listen to my words. The words of the great Deku Tree. We'll say Deku. Dost thou sense it? The climate of evil descending upon this realm. Malevolent forces, even now, are mustering to attack our land of Hyrule. For so long, the Kokiri Forest, the source of life, has stood as a barrier, deterring the outsiders and maintaining the order of the world. Really? Just this little forest? Does all that? The 3DS emulator sort of works. But when you leave, it fucks up. Ah. Uh. But before this tremendous evil power, even my power, even my power is nothing. It seems the time has come for the boy without a fairy to begin his journey. The youth whose destiny it is to lead Hyrule to the path of justice and truth. Navi, go now. Find our young friend and guide him to me. I do not have much time left. Cough, cough. Sneeze, sneeze. Fly, Navi, fly! The fate of the forest, nay, the fate of the world, depends upon thee! So epic. Yeah, I kind of wish I could play the 3DS versions because that's so pretty. But we're stuck with the original, and that's okay. The original's still good. Did I ever tell you guys that I used to have Navi's voice as my text tone alert on my phone? And I almost threw my phone against the wall when my mom was texting me? But yeah, I used to have Navi's voice, the Hey, listen! voice as my uh, text alert on my phone. Speaking of my phone, somebody's texting me right now. It's my mom. The one person I was talking about. <laughs> but, um... What was I saying? Oh yeah, so I had the Navi voice, Hey, listen! as the text tone voice on my phone. Berserk Pear, thank you for the follow! But yeah, so the way, when my mom texts me, she can't send one single text message at a time. The sentence is broken up, is usually broken up into about three different parts. So my phone will just go off like consecutively, like bang, bang, bang. And when I had the Navi voice as the uh, text tone on my phone, my phone would go off and it would go, hey, 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 listen. And it got really annoying really fast, so I, I, I stopped. I, I had to change the tone. <laughs> 
So you're talking about your mom texting you and having the Navi voice, and then you get the text from her mom. The game said hello. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she wants to know how much I want for my cell phone. She wants my phone. But I don't like her phone. I, uh, uh, mom. Okay, I'll talk to you later. I got some playing games to do. Hey, listen! Hey, Cad, welcome back. I saw your tweet, Cad. I'm so glad you got your crochets in the mail, safely. It's awesome. Hello! Oh, fuck! Wake up! <laughs> the great Deku Tree wants to talk to you. I should give her a voice. Oh, fuck! Get up! No. I may just read it normally. Hey, come on! Can Hyrule's destiny really depend on such a lazy boy? Awesome. Oh, you're welcome, Cad. Thanks for being here. You earned it. Dim points. It's still crazy that you won double prizes that night, though. You finally woke up! I'm Navi the Fairy! The great Deku Tree asked me to be your partner. Wow, this is going really slow. Nice to meet you! No, I didn't feel like she was annoying, as everyone made it out to be either, but it's still fun- it's still fun to make fun of her for being annoying. I think, um, Fee or Fi, however you pronounce it, from Skyward Sword was more annoying than Navi was. <laughs> so let's get going right now, let's go! Let's fucking go, you lazy piece of shit! Look how pixely it looks! Yeah, so pixely. Hey look, there's a rupee over here that we can't pick up. Woo! You got skill. Oh, thank you. Hi, Fronted. Welcome to the stream. <clears throat> oh, guys, check it out. I have a Master Sword necklace. Ah. I don't know if you guys can see it or not. Hey, look, there's Saria. But yeah, it's even got. You can pull the sword out. Ching! It was only $8 on the internet. It's pretty cool. This is a great game, and I've yet to finish it, so it's time for me to complete it. It's still salty. <laughs> Okay, let's go talk to Saria. Oh, I forgot there's little drawings on the trees. That's cool. Wow, a fairy! Finally, a fairy came to you. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I kind of wish I'd call him Dick Butt now. Wow, that's great news. I'm so happy for you. You're a true Kokiri. Oh, fuck. Is that right? The great Deku Tree has summoned you? Quite an honor to talk to the Great Deku Tree. I'll wait for you here. Get going! Go see the Great Deku Tree! You have a real Master Sword, while well, I have a real Hylian Shield. It's gigantic. <laughs> Your girlfriend would die for it. You can find them online. My mom was like, the only reason I bought this was because it popped up on my Facebook feed and it was on sale. Like, all you had to pay was like $8 for the shipping. So, $8! The great Deku Tree has summoned you! Please, come with me! Well, you're not exactly leading the way, Navi. I remember the first time I played this, I thought it was so weird that he jumped automatically. I was like, this is so weird! Hey, you! No, Mr. F or Mr. No Fairy! What's your business with the great Deku Tree? Without a fairy, you're not even a real man! The real man. What? You've got a fairy? Say what? The great Deku Tree actually summoned you? What? Why would he summon you and not the great Mido? This isn't funny. I don't believe it. You aren't even fully equipped yet. This game was originally... Originally this game was to have a jump button, but they took it out. I thought it was really weird that you jumped automatically. But no, it's like, it's natural. It's like a part of all the 3D Zelda games. There. You, just, you just jump automatically. Oh, that's right, you have to get a sword and shield. But, you're right. I don't have my equipment ready, but... If you want to pass through here, you should at least equip a sword and shield. Sheesh. He's such a dick. Okay. So, if I remember correctly, you can buy the shield in the shop and you have to go to that little secret area to get the sword. I think. 
It's funny, because I've played through the beginning of this game so many times, and, like, I've just never finished it. I've just never finished this game. I don't know why. It's like I always get distracted. For one, the game's really long. I think. There's so many dungeons. No, I don't want to Z-target you. I know how to do it. <laughs> but yeah, I've, every time I sit down to actually play through this game, I'll get somewhere in the middle, and I'll get distracted and go play something else, or go on vacation or something, and I forget about it, and I, I never finish it. I'd say that's kind of weird, done randomly. Welcome! He doesn't look like a kid. Just like a little fat kid. We sell shields, but not swords. We need 40 rupees. Okay. I think the only way to get the 40 rupees is to go run around in the grass. Or dig up the dig up the plants. I think we'll do that first. You need to mow your yard. Oh wait. Oh, I can't pick it up. Shit. I have to have the sword. I have to have the sword. That's right. I think there's some rupees in the bushes too. Yeah, there we go. You've never beaten it either? I don't know why I never beat it. Like, well, I know why. It's because I get distracted, but... Where was that? Oh, it's over here. I think it's over here. Yeah, you have to climb up the vines. The Goron bracelet. I remember getting the Goron bracelet, I think. The last dungeon I remember playing, the farthest I think I've gotten in this game, was the Ice Temple. And it was on the 3DS version. Yeah, it's the Lost Woods. I think this is where I go to get the sword. That was not the right way. I think there's a pattern to this. Maybe you stopped at one of the dungeons. Hi, gold blooded! Welcome back! No ice temple? Maybe it was the water temple. I remember it being blue. Whatever it was. Hey, look! Is that Skull Kid? I don't think that's the right way. This is, okay, this isn't where you get the sword. I'm trying to remember where you get the sword. Does he always disappear when you get close to him? Also, can I not- Oh, does this game have no camera controls? Oh shit. It's just centering the camera behind you, I guess. It is Skull Kid! <laughs> the Ice Caverns. Okay. A mini dungeon. That's probably- because that's the last thing I remember. I remember- I remember there being ice. It's the same species as Skull Kid? Skull Kid? Is this what happens to kids who get lost in the forest? He might be our friend if we do something. I don't have the ocarina yet. So let's leave. That's not the right way. The Lost Woods! Okay, here we go. see here. I'm gonna try to find where to go get the sword. I'm trying to remember. I feel like it's like a little secret area. It's like a tunnel you crawl through and then like there's a little maze with a rolling boulder. I remember that much. I just don't remember exactly where it's at. We'll find it. We shall find it. I think I went up here already. I want that rupee. Maybe 
Maze with a boulder. Yeah, I remember that much. What do you have to say? Did I just fall? <laughs> you came all the way up here? You're a real man! Look, isn't this view pretty? You can change your viewpoint with the C stick. Or the C button, but I don't want to change the C button. I don't think I can go out this exit either. You're not allowed to leave the forest! The great Deku tree said that if a Kuri leaves the woods, he or she will die. Dun dun dun! Except Link, because he's not a Kukiri! Yeah, I just talked to her and Link fell off the, the edge. That's exactly what just happened. Okay, so up there is the Lost Woods. That's not where we need to go. I could just run around and get all 40 rupees and go by the shield first. What about up here? Forest Training Center. Don't recklessly cut signs. Read them carefully. Sup, Bee Master! Welcome. House of the Know It All Brothers. There it is! There's the tunnel. Yes! It's the training center. Oh, we can't pick up the rock. Oh, shit. This is it. Bad booty. Come on, be a man dressed like Peter Pan. I don't get the reference. Sorry, Mon Gun. Wait a minute, there's a boulder. But where is it? Oh shit, there it is. Rupees! Oh yeah, more money. Oh wait, that's the sword! I thought it was money. <laughs> okay, that was fast. <laughs> Academics, welcome. Whatever happened to predictability? The bookman, the paperboy, evening TV. <laughs> I know exactly what that is. <laughs> oh my god. Like the intro- oh shit. Like the intro music to Full House. <laughs> Full House for the win. Ooh! Money. Oh yeah, I need to equip the sword, don't I? So, let's see. There we go. Would you like to save? Sure, why not? Let's save. Awesome! Now I can mow the grass! Yes! <laughs> ba -ba -ba -ba. Awesome sauce. We have the Kokiri sword, guys! Hi, EC Saint! Welcome! rocks. How do I back out of this? There we go. Hmm. So I got a grab option? I guess... I could have swore you pick up rocks. Oh well, we'll get money from cutting grass. Now we just need the, the shield. Fuck that sign. I don't need no damn signs. They're just for practicing Z-targeting? Okay. Oh, I can probably pick these up over here then. Yeah, there- okay, there we go. Help this guy clean up his yard. Get 
more money. Okay, we're at 26. We need 40. Tiny Assassin! Tiro Flame, welcome to the stream. A random possessed boulder rolling around. <laughs> I would kind of be pissed that I couldn't leave the forest. We need more monies. We still need more monies. Or rupees. Oh, hello. Cool. I just need six more. Fuck yeah. A money noob. He master says he found he found the PC he wants. The only problem is I can't get it online. You can only get it online and doing that is a bitch. I need a prepaid debit card and load the money onto it. Build your own PC kind of site. You don't know what parts to get. Shipping costs Canadian dollars. That's a lot of money, B master. That can buy a, a beastly PC. Are you a potato? <laughs> no, I am a potato. Ooh, a rock. With no money in it. Maybe if I go in a building and come back outside? Go to somebody else's house. Maybe the rupees in the grass will regenerate. I only need six more. <laughs> no, I'm a carrot. <laughs> oh, hello! Money! Give me them rupees. Hello, gaming jeans. I don't recognize that name, are you new? If so, welcome to the stream! <laughs> no, I want a potato. Alright, we got money. We got enough money. Hell yeah. I remember playing this game at my friend's house. And, uh... I remember the part where you go back to... Uh, you go to the future and you go to, uh... Castle Market. The town that's below the Hyrule Castle. And it's all overrun with, like, Rededs. And I remember kind of playing this game with one of my friends when I was little, and that part scared her, and so she always made me play through it and made me make Link run through the town. <laughs> it is a lovely day for Zelda Kratos. Welcome. If you want to pass through here, you should at least equip a sword and a shield. Sheesh. Dude, I have this shit. Oh, I don't have the shield yet. Fuck, I gotta go buy it. What am I doing? What am I doing? Duh, I need the shield. Mega system. Cool, be master. Hey, thanks for the follow, gaming jeans. I love the music in this game. I love how, like, whenever you play games like this as a kid, like the music just sticks with you for the rest of your life, and you always remember it, and it gets stuck in your head when you hear it. There's no time, your sword is enough. I think that's all I need. I can get other stuff. Like the Deku Nuts and the stick. I can't get all of those, like, actually inside the Deku Tree. I know, right? I could just totally take this kid out with the sword I just got. Oh, I have to equip the shield. There we go. How do we return? Start? Yeah. Alright, you asshole. Yeah, I have it. Can't you see it? Eh? What's that? Oh, you have a deco shield. And what's that? Is that the Kokiri sword? <gasps> Good grief! Well, even with all that stuff, a wimp is still a wimp, huh? I, the great Mido, 
will never accept you as one of us. What a dickhead. <laughs> Shoot, how did you get to be the favorite of Saria in the Great Deku Tree, huh? Grumble, grumble. See you later, fuckface. Oh shit, I forgot about those guys. We got a Deku stick! The shop music? Yes, I love the shop music. I like how these don't really do anything, they just bite the air. Mindlessly. Link doesn't say anything that'll make him a dick. <laughs> there he is! Oh, great daddy Deku tree. Oh, Nobby, thou hast returned! Oh, fuck! Welcome! <laughs> Listen carefully to what I, the Great Deku Tree, am about to tell thee. Thy slumber these past moons must- I'm trying to find a good voice for this guy. Thy slumber these past moons must have been restless and full of nightmares. As servants of evil gain strength, a vile climate pervades the land and causes nightmares to those sensitive to it. He sounds constipated when I talk like that. I think I'll just do a normal voice. Verily, thou hast felt it. Oh fuck. The time has come to test thy courage. Somebody sent me a picture on Twitter. They named Link Bend Over, and that line that I just read read, Bend Over. The time has come to test thy courage. And I was like, yes! That's fucking epic! I have been cursed. I need you to break the curse with your wisdom and courage. The, yes, the wisdom of an eight-year-old child can break your curse. Dost thou have courage enough to undertake this task? Yes, I do! Remember no Russian. Then enter, brave old fuck. And thou too, Navi. Navi the fairy. Thou must aid, O oh fuck. And O oh fuck! <laughs> he speaks. <laughs> Use up on the C stick. Listen well. Blah blah blah. Words of wisdom. Blah 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 and such. Wisdom and blah and blah. Hold on. Let's do a little exploration here. <laughs> do you have the courage to take on this task? Yes, I do. Giant talking tree. Because we need more sticks, why not? Oh yeah, what do these things do? I think in the 3DS version they give you hints. Boing boing! Current time? Is that all it says? It is 12 o'clock! AM or PM? Also, it is bad that the old guy wants you to go in his mouth, constantly sh showing off his wood. It is kind of creepy when you think about it that way. Alright, inside the Great Deku Tree. <laughs> yeah, I see that, Viewmaster. Oh, that's right, these are tougher. game uses military time? In that case, that would be 12 o'clock p.m. Like lunchtime. Look at this wall! The vine's growing on it! Give it a rough surface. Maybe you can climb it, oh fuck! Oh fuck! Give me your nuts. All the nuts. Hey. Okay, so I need to equip some of this stuff now, probably. 
There we go. Hey! Hey! Shut up! I take back what I said about Navi not being that annoying. Alrighty. So I remember I remember this place. I remember you get the slingshot, you have to take down the Skultalas, and you have to go way up high and then jump and then make your way down through the spider web that's on the floor below. I think. So can I put away the stick? <laughs> Got some nuts in a giant tree that says, oh fuck. Bye, Cad. Have a great day. Thanks for stopping in. The dungeon map! Blue chambers are places you have already visited. Your current location is the flashing room. Okay, move up and down, select a floor. Blah blah blah. Sweet, we have a map now. Maps are helpful. Listen! Listen! You can open a door by standing in front of it and pressing A. Pay attention to what the action icon says. Okay, Navi, that's enough. That's enough out of you. Oh, I remember these guys. How do you put your shield up? I'm hitting the wrong buttons. There we go. I really like these guys in Majora's Mask. Deku shrubs. Oh well, forgive me, master. If I give you a clue, will you let me go? When you jump off a high cliff, you hold forward. You will roll on the ground when you land and won't get hurt from the fall. I can't guarantee it will work though. Blah de blah de blah de blah. Try it if you're feeling bold. Waha! <laughs> <laughs> we'll grab that. Go on to the next room. Alrighty. Oh shit! Other three is basically Earthbound 64. I really wish they would make another Mother game. How awesome would that be? Or even just take take Mother 3 or Earthbound and give it a complete, like... I wouldn't say complete remake, but like, keep the dialogue the same. But just give it some like updated cool looking 3D graphics. Oh no, my earring fell off my ear. I think it just broke. Oh wait, no, it's still good. Sorry guys. Girl problems. <sighs> there we go. Anyways, we got the fairy slingshot! Hell yeah! He doesn't want to do a Mother 4. I, I wouldn't say make an entirely new game, but take Earthbound or Mother and just like give them some graphical updates of some sort. That's the wrong one. We want the slingshot. I think I'm supposed to be up there and like there's a target I'm supposed to hit maybe? It would have been cool to see Earthbound in 3D or some kind of graphical update would have been cool. I think it would have been cool. Let's climb that ladder. Be a rupee. It's a heart. That helps me. Like, not at all, whatsoever. I guess I'm just supposed to hit the ladder. I was thinking there'd be a switch. Yeah, there we go. Mm. Yes, Mother 4 is gonna be a fan game, which I'm gonna play. Personally, I'm excited for it. I'm just glad that uh, Mother 3 is finally getting an official US release, even though it is on the Wii U shop. 
but still. Better than nothing. Phew. Phew. Oh. A little bit more. There we go. Give me those nuts. Dim Deku nuts. It's only coming out in Japan? I thought it was finally getting a, a, an official translation and being released in the US. I thought they were releasing it in North America. And down you go. Yeah, these guys. You gotta wait for them to turn around. Oh, speaking of uh, remakes, did anybody happen to watch the Final Fantasy VII remake trailer? And if you have seen it, what are your thoughts on it? I'm curious. Oh, thank you! I'm in cool, if I'm in cool. I still don't know how to pronounce your name. <laughs> I'm not sure if- I don't remember if you've told me how to pronounce it yet or not. Probably did, and I just don't remember. And turn around, let me see that booty. Smack that booty! Time and cool. Okay. I'll, I'll pronounce it time and cool from now on. Ah! Shit. I keep wanting to use the C stick as a camera control, but I keep forgetting that I can't. Ah! Hey! <laughs> nice. You've never played Final Fantasy VII. What? <gasps> How could you never play Final Fantasy VII? Unless you're not a fan of RPGs, how could you not play Final Fantasy VII? Holy shit. You're missing out, dude. You so missed out. And are still missing out. I'm actually emulating this mod god, just, just for convenience sake. Just for convenience sake. It's much easier to play it from the PC rather than have to plug in the console and get everything synced and stuff, so. I mean, I could play it on my Wii U, but it's much easier and it's actually- it's, it's easier on my PC to just emulate it. I keep hitting the C-stick! Uh. Keep wanting to use the C-stick as a camera control. Do you know what video quality goes best with old video games? VHS. Oh, I need fire. Uh-oh. I think we just crashed. Oh no! That's not good. Reset. Oh no, guys. I, I don't think this is gonna work. Yeah, we're, we're totally crashed. Oh, Damn it! Fucking shit! Fuckity fuck. Damn it. Ah! I hope it saved. I hope it saved. <clears throat> well, fuck you too, emulator. I know, we jinxed it, guys. We jinxed it. We were talking about how easy it was to emulate rather than hook up console. Let's see if it saved. Or what it saved. Oh no. Ugh! 
You know what's funny? I remember the Silver Fox talking about having the same problem with her emulator, because she plays Majora's Mask on an emulator, and she said she's tried to do, like, four separate playthroughs of it, and every time it crashes. Oh, the irony! I know! Maybe do it on console for insurance. I might have to do that. Ah, we might have to do it on console. Oh fuck, but in two ways. Yeah. I hate using save states though, because then I feel like I'm cheating. But for insurance purposes, we could probably do... well... Either way, whether or not I start it up on console or we keep doing the emulator, I'm gonna have to start over from scratch. Yeah, I have two separate emulators. I could try the other one to see if it crashes. And they're also- the other safe states on Wii U, too. Because this game is long, and if you miss out a bunch of stuff, that'll be bad. Yeah. Ugh. But I'm not sure what to do. I really like just emulating it because it's easier. It's a lot easier on my PC, too. Well, I'll tell you what, I'll try this one more time with the emulator. We'll keep going with the emulator. I'll, I'll do save states like every hour, maybe. But if it crashes, if it keeps crashing, I'll switch to console. So we'll, we'll just do that. I saw a Nintendo Power VHS at my local game store. Oh, that's cool. Okay, well, we have the sword, so it's saved there. We just need money to get the shield. Save once you jump on the spider web. Yeah, I'll do that. So yeah, if 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 the emulator continues to crash and be a bitch, I'll switch over to console. I just like being able to emulate. It's just so much easier. Because I can still utilize both my monitors. If I plug in my console, I completely lose all screen space upon my monitors because it's dedicated to the input of the console. And so my chat and everything else has to be squeezed down onto one screen, which is kind of annoying. Whereas, like, right now, since I'm emulating on my PC, the screen of the game is only taking up half the screen space of my biggest monitor, so I'm able to put a lot of stuff right next to it, like my chat box. In fact, I need to scoot my chat box over just a little bit. Can't you assign a save state to a key button and just tap that every 15 minutes? That is a really good idea, Sergio. Let me see if I don't have any a hotkey option here. Let's see here. Save. I think F5 saves it, so. Yep. There we go. Hotkey. <laughs> F5 is our hotkey. F5 is the, the save button, so that's what we're gonna do. So we'll just save every 15-30 minutes. Awesome. Make it spacebar? Yeah, the, the only games I usually uh, emulate are like really old games like Sega Genesis or, or SNES games. What am I doing? I'm getting money. We need rupees. Yeah, just hit it whenever. That's what I'm gonna start doing. In fact, I'm gonna hit it right now. And then I'm gonna take a look at the save folder to see what's located at and what the saves actually look like. So if I go to let's see, current save state, save, restore. There's not a load option. Full screen. So does restore take you back to the previous save state? Yep, totally does. That's a good idea. What if I told you that I'm not into Zelda, Final Fantasy, Kingdom Hearts, RPGs, or second RPGs? 
I would say get the fuck out. No, I'm just kidding. I would be very surprised. Whose house was it we went into earlier that had all the money? Somebody had a lot of money. <laughs> but anyways, back to talk of Final Fantasy VII before we crash. As far as the, uh, the trailer goes, dude, I'm fucking hyped. Like, seeing the cutscenes and hearing the, the, the voice actors, hearing the characters speak, and the fact that, um, like, it seems like they're sticking really, really close to, like, the original story and they didn't change the script much. Like, the dialogue is still the same, which I really appreciate. However, the combat system... I don't know about. I don't know. Because I read an article saying that they were planning on making major changes to the combat system, which I really was not happy about. Really not happy about that. So we'll see. I'm hyped, but I'm trying to not get myself too hyped because I don't want to be disappointed when the game comes out and I hate the way it plays. But we'll see. But it looks fucking amazing, though! It looks so beautiful. Can't wait. I'll cut down some bushes. They're gonna be doing the same thing they did for Kingdom Hearts? No. No way. I don't know about that. I I just want I just want the classic turn-based RPG gameplay. That's all I want. Is that asking too much? It's an equated, antiquated, antiquated combat system. Ooh, can I break your pot? Yes! <laughs> Stealing your monies. Oh, we have enough now, sweet. We have enough rupees! Square Enix hates those who hate turn-based RPGs. I know. I really liked, um... Bravely Default. And the way that worked. And now we save. I love the shop music. I don't want to find anything else. Nope, we have to leave. The, epi the episodic format, yes. My husband told me about that. And I got really angry. I was like, what the actual fuck? They're actually gonna divide it up into parts and like... I was like, those greedy bastards! Why? I guess they gotta make their money somehow. Apparently doing a remake is super expensive, but... I have to equip the shield. Uh oh. They were shocked. Bravely Default did well. Yes, the company is known for turn based RPGs. Was shocked that when they did a turn based RPG, it did so well. I know! That's, as an RPG fan, that's what I want. I want that classic turn based gameplay. Like, I feel like that's what people like. As an RPG fan, that's what I want. Square Enix hate people. They just hate their fans. Like, I, I hated the way 13 was. I hated the combat system 13. Hated it. Fucking hated it. Cash grab borrowing StarCraft 2 model. Yeah. I don't like the fact that it's gonna be episodic. Those greedy bastards. That's all I can say. Square Enix, you greedy fucking bastards. Don't care. Don't care. We're just gonna skip through this. I'm not gonna do the 
constipated old man voice again. Oh, I wish the text would go faster. I'm really sad that it crashed. We could be almost done with this by now. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. The time has come to test thy courage. Your wisdom and courage. Link isn't wise, he's just courageous. That's why he has the Triforce of Courage. I know, I'd pay for it too, sadly. That's why they're doing it, because they know, as fans who desperately want a 7 remake, that we're gonna buy it, no matter how many chapters they split it up into. They know we're gonna fork out the money to buy it. And they see an opportunity to make money, so... One of my good friends from back home has the, uh... Final Fantasy VII logo tattooed on his arm right here. It's just the, the meteor. And it looks amazing, because it's super detailed. The tattoo artist did a really good job on it. And then on the other arm, he has the Kraken tattooed on his arm. Which also looks really good, because it's super detailed. And by the Kraken, I mean the Kraken on the bottle of the Kraken rum. Spice rum. Shut up, Navi! I don't care! <laughs> yeah, and yeah, with Final Fantasy, the remake coming out, there's gonna be more Final Fantasy VII tattoos. I just hope they don't fuck it up. No, I don't wanna listen, Navi. Go away! Stab you with my fucking sword. Oh, hold on, guys. My mom won't stop texting me. I'm gonna text her back real quick here. I think she really wants my phone. Okay. Sorry, guys. I don't like ignoring my mama. But fuck off with the microtransactions, exactly. <laughs> Tell your mom we said I. Already done this. Go, go, go. Oh, I don't have anything equipped. Wait a minute. Yeah, we have to go get the slingshot, which is in this room. No, Navi, you bitch. Shut up. We just went through this, Navi. Come on. <laughs> Hi, Ninja Mom. Okay. Shit. I keep hitting the trigger buttons. Like, the back buttons. Ugh. I hate that we have to do all this again. Damn emulators. I would trade, trade you phones if we were in Dallas. Yeah. Well, luckily I have somebody who wants to trade tonight, so... Hopefully they don't flake out. But we're supposed to meet at 6 o'clock at a Sprint store. 
And we're just gonna trade phones there. Which reminds me, I need to get all the contacts off my phone before I actually take it to the Sprint store and have them erase it. I need to get my pictures and my contacts off my phone. Which is a super pain in the ass because it's an iPhone. Oh, okay, Master Banda. I'll keep that in mind. How much would you want for it? Well, actually, no. It depends on what network it's on. My mom is on a weird network back home called Bluegrass Cellular. It's like a local cell phone service provider, whatever you want to call it. I don't know. I don't know what kind of. I don't know if it's a GSM network or if it's a CDMA network. Or a ESN, whatever. Yeah, CDMA versus GSM. I don't know if it's a GSM phone or if it's a CDMA phone. So I would have to call Bluegrass and find out. You've never had an iPhone? If you're used to Android, it's hard to make the switch to iOS. See, my first phone was an iPhone because I chose to go with the iPhone because I had an iPod Touch. So I was already familiar with iPod and, um, and, and, and Apple products. And I loved my phone, it was great. And then it broke, and then I made the switch to a Samsung Galaxy S4. And at first I didn't like it, it took a while to get used to. But once I was used to it, and then I made the switch back over to the iPhone, which this iPhone 6 Plus I have, I fucking hate it now. I hate it. I hate Apple products. It, it's super... They're hard to use if you don't have all Apple products, because the phone will not communicate with your PC unless it's through Apple software that you have to download extra. It's a pain in the ass. Okay, Master Banda, I will... When I find out, I'll let you know. Yeah, and they come out way too damn often, but then again, everybody... Everybody makes a new phone every year. But, um... Yeah, it's just a pain in the ass if you don't have all Apple products. And I hate- I fucking hate iTunes. I hate iTunes. So that's why I want to go back to an Android phone. Specifically the Galaxy. Money, money, money! Give me those rupees! It's a freaking cash grab, but yeah, it is. And it's a lot harder now too because unless you're on some kind of special plan that gives you free upgrades, you end up paying the full price of the phone in the long run because nobody does contracts anymore where it's, hey, pay $200, sign up for two years with us, and you'll get this phone for free or for $200. And nobody does that anymore. It's all easy pay plans. Fuck. That's the wrong button. Everybody wants you to pay the full price of the phone over your two-year contract. Which raises your bill by like 20 to $25, depending on how expensive the phone is. Like, my husband has had his phone for almost two years now, and we're still paying on it. It's almost paid off, though. It's only got like maybe $100 left on it. Turn around! Go smack that booty. Okay. Now, let's go over to that ledge. And before we jump, I'm gonna save. Hey, Giyoshi, thank you for that follow. Welcome to the stream. Right before I jump here, I'm gonna save. I wanna actually save here and save on the emulator. Oh wait. This saves. Okay. Hopefully it doesn't crash again. What the fuck? I guess I didn't jump right in the middle. Ugh! I have to climb all the way back up. Shit balls, man. <gasps> you got deco seeds! Which I like to call just deco nuts. 
Actually, no, there's nuts and seeds. The nuts do the flash thing, the seeds you use in your slingshot. Taco seeds! Back to the top we go. So we're finally kind of back to where we were. These Deku nuts! These nuts! These Deku nuts! Okay, here we go. There we go! I just needed to jump more in the middle. Ah, get back up there! What are you doing, Link? Also, I should save while I'm down here. Let's go ahead and do that. We'll see what happens as we run around down here. Hopefully it doesn't crash again. If it does, I'll probably make the switch over to console. I'll have to start over again. But hopefully not. Hopefully not. Okay. Got those seeds. I'm gonna get that gold token. What happens when you get all the gold tokens? You guys ever done that? Killed all the golden skeletons. Oh, it did it again! It did it again! Hold on here. Fucking balls. I don't think we're gonna be able to do this, guys. Oh, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Ball sacks. It seems to be- okay, I'm gonna go jump on the button. Maybe it's the button that triggers it. Let's see. Yeah, Project 64, you suck. Oh, it worked that time. So yeah, I need to save like every 15 minutes. At least we got save states. Dear god. Okay, so now we need... Let's kill the, the Skulltola. And grab the coin. You destroyed a gold Skulltola. You got a token, proving you destroyed it. Okay, from here... I gotta jump across, I think. I need to push that block down. I gotta push the block down. Fuck you! Didn't I just get a Deku stick? I've already got one. I've, haven't we already been through this already? <laughs> ah! over there. Can't jump from here. Oh, mother. She keeps texting me. Now she's asking me if I'm streaming and I'm like, yeah, I am streaming. Silly mama. Take a peek here. Ooh, do I need to go up there? Actually, no, I don't. Retrofile TV, thank you for the host! Thank you, thank you, thank you. How's it going, Retro? Damn it! I'm just. I'm leaving that earring out. It keeps falling. Mom knows what streaming is. Yeah, I. It, it took her a while to understand what streaming was. She was like, what? You, you play games and people watch you? That's kind of weird. She thought it was weird, but eh, she kind of grew to accept it. Yes, finally gonna tackle Ocarina of Time. It's been far too long. It's been far too long. 
I didn't think I could make that jump. Shit, how do I get back over there? Hmm. Okay, hold on. I can I can light a stick. I can get here. I can jump from there there, and I can burn that down. So let's do that. I think I only have one stick, though. Old people are funny. My parents showed up in my stream once. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> That's funny. I don't even have any of these equipped. I only have one stick! Make it count. There we go. Whoosh. Burn this mother to the ground. I threw it on the ground! I love that song. I love Lonely Island. I wish they would come out with more stuff, though. I feel like we haven't gotten a song from them in a while. Welcome to the real world, jackass! Some kid offered me birthday cake at a birthday party. I threw the rest of the cake, too! Welcome to the real world, jackass! <laughs> Fucking love that song. The order is 231. 23 is number one, did you get that? 231. <laughs> Thank you, academics! Posting very useful notes. After you get into the water, if you hold A, you can dive! I bet there are some interesting things under the water. Take a peek here. Oh, I, I kinda remember this room. You gotta go kill that... that giant Skulltella. And there's a button to hit. Oh, wait a minute. Can I not climb out over here? Nope. Okay, well, let's hit the button. Let's see what happens. The water goes down! Okay, cool. Oh, but it's timed. Shit, 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 shit! Oh my god, I barely saved that. Woo! <laughs> hey, listen! listen! Shut up, Navi! Yeah, I totally take back what I said about Navi not being as annoying as people think she is. Yeah, she's totally fucking annoying. Yes, Navi, I can push the block. Pay attention to what the action icon says. Go push that fucking block, jackass. Okay. That there. Climb. Climb. I think climb. I think now's a good time to save. That. Grab some sticks. And I think we need to light some torches here. Whoosh. Whoosh. Oh, shit. Whoosh. No love for Navi. Pretty damn annoying. Hey, look, we saved the stick! Have <laughs> you tasted real good? <laughs> and if she didn't interrupt the gameplay every five seconds. Sure, okay, Navi's cool, but. Oh shit. Hey. 
Nice. Slingshot comes in handy. I ate her for him in here, welcome to me. Wait, are they just coming out? Over like, where are they coming from? Coming from the ceiling. Hey, Joe Pro, welcome! Are there, are there any more on the ceiling? I don't think so. Okay, so let's burn this mother down. Fire in the disco! Put that away. Nice. Go, 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 go! It's gonna run out! Windows 10. Cool! You're actually dual booted. That's... that's... I don't know what that means. What does dual booted mean, guys? Are you running two OS's? I didn't know that was possible. Linux? I've never used a Linux. Or Linux. I know nothing about Linux. Shit. Damn it, Link! Wait. Okay, so if I don't give the directional joystick any direction, he jumps when I press A. Wait, no? Oh, I'm hitting- I'm hitting jump. That's what it was. Okay. Duh. Gotta burn that. Here we go, now we're on this side. Now we're on the right side. Grab that shit. If you've ever used an Android product, you've used Linux. Okay, cool. Hopefully I'll be getting an Android phone later today. I can't fucking wait. So excited. I'm tired of my iPhone. I wanna go back to Android. Okay, make the jump here. Boing! First time I actually played this, you were seven. I think I was around the same age whenever I played this. It was like seven or eight, maybe, possibly nine. You know, I don't remember. It depends on what year it came out. What year did this guy's come out, guys? Or what year did this come out? Was it 97? 98? 99. So, Majora's Mask came out in 2000, right? So this would have to come out in like, 98 or 99. You can't access folders on Windows, you can on Linux. Ah. Let's grab this heart. 98. Okay, so I was 8 years old. I was 8 when I played this. Oh wait, this is the order thing. Okay. Yeah, we've already fucked up. It's supposed to be 2, 3, 1. Doing it backwards already. Okay. Now we'll do it right. 1998. Yep. I was 8 years old in 1998. 2. Shit. Hit me. Hit me. There's two, three, come on, hit me, hit me, hit me, three, over here, 
one. Boosh. How did you know our secret? How irritating. It's so annoying that I'm going to reveal the secret of Queen Goma to you. In order to administer the Coupe de Grace to Queen Goma, strike with your sword while she's stunned. Oh, Queenie, sorry about that! How does one get two OS's on this one PEZ? That's what I'm wondering. You can create separate partitions on your hard drive? I think I'll stick with one OS. I'm okay with Windows. Oh shit. Get out your sword! Here we go. Okay, so I've seen some speedrunners do this where Queen Goma drops down and they have her push them back up against the door here. And they do like a backflip through the door. They phase through the door before the boss fight's even over, and they do it like within a matter of seconds. And then they leave. And then. I don't know how the fuck it works. <laughs> and then it's like, bam, they're at Ganon's castle. You actually have to look up. Right? Yeah, there she is. Queen Goma! <laughs> Parasitic Armored Arachnid. Okay, let's see if I can remember how to do this. One of the parasitic monsters inside the Deku Tree. Its, red, it's eye is vulnerable when it's red. There we go. Oh, this is where she poops out eggs. Oh god, she's shitting on me! Come on, you big bitch. Corbino, thanks for the follow. Okay, she's gonna go back up on the ceiling and poop on me again. Mm. Follow hype! Okay, where's the poop? Come on, show me the poop. Shit, really? She's not dead yet? Oh man. <laughs> I'm Ninja! I like your name. There we go. Yes! Get wrecked! Go, my bitch. You can donate a GTX 980 to me if you want. <laughs> I would totally take a GTX 980. I think once we get moved and settled in our new house in Florida, we're gonna start building me my own gaming PC. And then one of the spare bedrooms is gonna be my room for streaming! It's gonna be awesome. Who would turn one down? I know, right? I think the most expensive part of building a, a PC is your graphics card and your processor. Everything else is cheap. Well done, no fuck. I 
I will keep you in mind, Jopro. I will keep you in mind. Thou hast verily demonstrated thy courage. I knew that thou would be able to carry out my wishes. Oh fuck, I'm dying. Now I have yet more to tell ye. Would thou listen? Now, oh, listen carefully. A wicked man of the desert cast this dreadful curse upon me. I'm not gonna read anymore. It's gonna go into cutscene at this point. <laughs> hey, Godzerk! Holy nipples of Christ, it's Godzerk! I feel like Ganon is really big for that horse. <laughs> you have a little horse and a gigantic man riding on top of the horse. His vile sorcerer's powers. For it is in that sacred realm that one will find the divine relic, the Triforce, which contains the essence of the gods. PC part picker and show you how you can get it for... <laughs> I don't know, I haven't seen VCOM, Godzerk. Three golden goddesses descended upon the chaos that was Hyrule. Could you blow me a kiss? Thank you for the follow! The Goddess of Courage. She's green, like Link! Every day must be a mom day. It seems every day is a mom day now. strong flaming arms she cultivated the land and created the red earth <laughs> just star force <laughs> oh you missed you missed me master you gotta aim better than that Great goddesses, their labors completed, departed for the heavens. And golden sacred triangles remained at the point where the goddesses left the world. Since then, the sacred triangles have become the basis of our world's providence. And the resting place of the triangles has become the sacred realm. Shivy, thanks for that follow. I need to do another giveaway soon. I don't know what to make, though. His chat is AIDS. <laughs> His chat is just a constant waterfall of just random shit. He has so many people that watch him. Thou must never allow the desert man in black armor to lay his hands on the sacred Triforce. Cough, cough. Thou must never suffer that man with his evil heart to enter the sacred realm of legend. That evil man who has cast the death curse upon me and sapped my power. Because of that curse, my end is nigh. <laughs> Through your valiant efforts to break the curse were successful, I was doomed before you started. Yes, I will pass away soon, but do not grieve for me. I have been able to tell you of these important matters. This is Hyrule's final hope. Oh fuck. Go now to Hyrule Castle. There, that will surely meet the Princess of Destiny. Take this stone with you. The stone that man wanted so much. He cast the curse on me. Oh yeah, it's the spiritual stone. We get three. And then we go to the Temple of Time. And <laughs> that voice acting. I want that as a necklace. I need to get on Etsy. You got the Kokiri's Emerald. 
This is the spiritual stone of the forest, now entrusted to you by the great Deku Tree. The future depends upon thee, oh fuck! Thou art courageous. Not be the fairy. Help, oh fuck, to carry out my will. I entreat ye, Navi. Goodbye. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> It is kind of sad to see him die, though. And the leaves start falling. Oh, fuck! Let's go to Hyrule Castle! Bye, Great Dango Tree. Yo, fart. <laughs> Tree impersonation. Alright, wait, why are you blocking me? Hey, yo, fuck! What did you do? Wait, Deku Tree? Did he die? How could you do a thing like that? It's all your fault. Yeah, fuck you too. Let's get the fuck out of here. Fuck these kids. First, let's get some money. Nah, let's just fucking leave. <laughs> oh, the Forsen boys are back. Awesome. Someone keeps putting my channel link in his chat. <laughs> I think this is where Saria stops you. Oh, you're leaving! She looks so sad. <laughs> oh, this is totally 4K. Totally 4K streaming. I knew. I knew that you would leave the forest. Someday. Oh, fuck. Because you're different from me and my friends. But that's okay. Because we'll be friends forever, won't we? Oh yeah, this is where she gives you the ocarina. I want you to have this ocarina. Please take good care of it. Da -da -da -da! Yeah, I'm not quite on board with the 4K yet, either. It's just, it's too new at this point. Oh yeah, we can play music now! Yeah, you're right, Jopro, not yet. <laughs> the Ninja 999! Hello, other ninja, welcome to the stream. It's always good to have a fellow ninja in the chat. I like how he just stares at her and just backs away slowly, like... And then runs away. <laughs> kind of an awkward goodbye. Yeah, I'd give it another year or two. In fact, my... Uh, th but there's not enough stuff that supports 4K yet, and a buddy of mine actually bought a 4K TV, and he had issues with his uh, PS4 displaying on the TV. Like, he said something about the graphics like wouldn't show up right, and like the game was... I don't know the details. All I know is that it wouldn't work. Maybe the best card around. Hyrule Field! Hoot hoot! Oh fuck! Look up here! It appears that the time has finally come for you to start your adventure. I need a voice for this owl. I don't know what to do. You will enter many hardships ahead. No, he needs a deep voice. That is your fate. Don't feel discouraged. Even during the toughest of times, go straight this way and you will see Hyrule Castle. You will meet a princess there. Ooh. Did I get the prince? Did I get to kiss the princess? May I post a link? Uh. I didn't fix that problem, Joe Pro. <laughs> I didn't fix the permit problem. But, um. Just go ahead and post it, and I'll click on it. I don't know how to clear links. I haven't I haven't fixed my link problem with uh, my bot yet. <laughs> it's 
Sorry, Joe. You are lost and don't know which way to go. Look at the map. The areas you have explored will be shown on the map. Press start to enter the subscreens and Z or R to find the map. Rikido or Rik Riktio. Riktio, thanks for that follow. It's time to bring out the N64. Did you get all of that? Yes. All right then. I'll see you around. What? 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 Force and racist. <laughs> all right. Let's do some exploration. Ah, oh, sweet. Thank you, Godzerk. It's the part picker thing. Oh shit, it's not loading. Oh, here it goes. Cool. I'll look at it here in a little bit. That would be a beast of a PC. <laughs> I am so looking forward. Okay, so I have mixed feelings about the remake. One, I fucking love the way it looks. It's gorgeous. And after seeing the second trailer that got released, I'm pretty excited that they're sticking to the original dialogue. Like, you could tell from the cutscenes when the characters were speaking. But the dialogue was pretty much the same. The only thing I'm concerned about is how they're changing the combat system because I read that they're overhauling it and making it different. So I'm super pumped for it. It looks fucking beautiful. But I'm trying to not get my hopes too high because I'm afraid they're gonna somehow fuck it up and the combat system's gonna suck, so... I can't wait for it. I'm gonna play it regardless. I'm gonna play it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna sucker up the money and give them the money for the different episodes since it's gonna be episodic, which I'm pretty pissed about, but I'm gonna play it. I'll fork out the money for it regardless. Xeon and a Titan X. No shame. The fuck. Oh yeah, I had to wait for day... daytime. Stop dealing with these zombies. Thanks for the follows, everyone. I think we just hit uh, 1,200 followers yesterday. The combat looks yeah, and that's why I, that's why I don't I'm not getting excited. Freak to you. And then somebody said that they were using Kingdom Hearts' combat system, which to me is kind of weird. All I want is my classic turn-based RPG playstyle. That's that's all I ask. As someone who likes RPGs, that's the kind of RPG that I want. I want the classic turn-based RPG system. Why are we posting links? Oh, it's actually a link to my channel. And my bot's not getting rid of it. Yay, it's daytime! We can go in! Let's go meet the princess! I want to give her a kiss. Castle Market, here we come! I think this room has like a bunch of pots in it. Yes! Break all the pots. So many pots. Crunchy peanut butter? Ugh. Who the fuck eats crunchy peanut butter? I hate crunchy peanut butter. I like my creamy peanut butter. You don't own a PS4 yet? I would wait until Final Fantasy VII comes out because I have a feeling they're gonna make like a special edition Final Fantasy VII PS4. And if they don't do that, there's going to be some kind of collector's edition bundle. But I kind of have a feeling they're going to do some kind of special edition PS4 for the release of it. So I would wait. And we'll probably- even though we have a PS4, we'll probably end up buying whatever special edition comes out, if it does come out. You like crunchy peanut butter? I don't like crunchy peanut butter, sorry. Man, I'm so bored. Things would sure be more interesting if there were more... more troubles in the world. Hey, that's just between you and me, okay? Anyway, maybe we can let off some steam by breaking these jars. Hey, J-Pen! Welcome back and thank you for that host! 
Thank you, thank you, thank you. How's it going, J-Pen? <laughs> the market! It's Castletown Market! Oh, is that the mail guy? <laughs> huff, 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 I'm late, I'm late! We're a very important date! Isn't that what the rabbit says in Alice in Wonderland? I'm late! I'm late! I'm late for a very important date! A time to say hello, goodbye, I'm late, I'm late, I'm late! Hello, bearded man. Ahem, erm. This beard is my pride and joy. Doesn't it look lub Luxuriant? Luxuriant? Doesn't it look luxuriant, kid? Oh yeah, then there's the lovers. Oh, you are so handsome. Just like the king of Hyrule. <laughs> and there's the fat bitch. The tickle biddies. My precious fluffy could run faster than any of the other mutts around here. Maybe we should transfer some of these mom guys to Alley Cat's channel. That would be a good idea. Is she online right now? Okay, j -Pin, By all means, lurk away. It's totally fine. Hey, look, guys. It's your mom. It's your fat fucking mom. My boobs are bigger than hers. <laughs> hey, is that the the ranch girl, Milan? Milan? Hey, your clothes—they're different. You're not from around here, are you? Dot dot dot, dot dot dot. Oh, you're a fairy boy from the forest. My name is Milan. My dad owns Lon Lon Ranch. Dad went to the castle to deliver some milk, and he hasn't come back yet. That this is the way to the castle. I have to do some stealth stuff and like sneak around the guards. Notice me, mum. Notice me, mummy. Try to carry two big jugs around. Hey, oh fuck this way. The princess is inside the castle just ahead. Be careful not to get caught by the guards. Ho 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 hoot. Ho 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 hoot 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 ho! <laughs> On this ground, time flows normally. Time stands still while you're in Lon Lon Ranch or in a town. Oh yeah! If you want time to pass normally, you'll need to leave town. Well, well. Which way are you going to go now? Hoot hoot! I prefer tumors if it meant my boobs aren't triangles like hers. <laughs> No, I don't need to hear that again, Mr. Owl. Ooh, you're a smart kid! And away we go! Let's see. There is a way to climb up, right? Yep, here it is. There's the vines. Dim vines. What? Get up there. He's not climbing. There we go. You have to go right up the middle one. Triangle boobs! Oh, Greggasm! <laughs> Triangle boobs only Monati. <laughs> Nintendo 64 boobs. The sharp polygon boobs. Oh, oh. Hang on, I gotta go down the ladder. Okay, go out the door. And don't get caught by the guards. Oh yeah, there's a boulder we can blow up later. Here, so we don't get caught by those guys. Shit. How do they not see me? Like, I'm not hiding, I'm standing out in the open field. How do they not see me? Oh, 
Oh shit, I was looking at chat. Fuck! I saw something about a shoe on head. Which I will not do. Hey look, there she is! Are you going to the castle, fairy boy? Would you mind finding my dad? <laughs> it's kind of a creepy laugh. He must have fallen asleep somewhere around the castle. What a thing for an adult to do. Tee hee! Oh yeah, if you'll look for him, I'll give this to you. It's been incubating this egg. I've been incubating this egg very carefully. Oh yeah, and I think that's what wakes him up. Wrecked by blind guards. Yes. Totally got wrecked by the guards. Okay. Wrong vine. Little vine. My boobs are better. Now oh, what did you link, Godzerk? Ladies, please, contain your orgasms. <laughs> Those are some fine tits there, Godzerk. We shall sneak in under the cover of night. Take the castle by storm. I can climb down this damn ladder. You can't see them, but you know they're big. You can tell by the girth of your chin. Okay, so we were going along the path here. Where were those? Okay, there's the guards. Gotta go up the rock wall here. Hey, Blue Viper! <laughs> Show boobs to compare. No! That's how you get banned on Twitch. And I would like not to be banned. Oh shit. In the water. Hey 90s gamer, what's up? Welcome to the stream. Life is good. Because I'm probably gonna be getting a new phone today and I'm fucking excited. And we're playing Ocarina of Time. It doesn't get much better than that. Welcome Mario. Hey look, there he is. A weird place to fall asleep. Z z z z z z z. Mumble mumble. Rah, 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 rah. Welcome to our ranch. It's so fun. Come on, walk around. Ah, yes. <laughs> Chris, I think, or Chris, Chrisalum. I can't even see. Chrisali. Thank you for the follow. You could just look at my chat. My chat tells me your name. <laughs> Sleep rape him. It's called surprise sex. What's up with his butt? His butt is black. Check out his ass. It's like a black square. <laughs> okay, I think we have to get the egg. Yeah, turned into a chicken. Pretty sure the chicken wakes him up. Pink Sparkles isn't being a slut anymore. <laughs> Thanks for the follows, everybody. Can a person get a little shut eye around here? Oh, hello, and who might you be? Yep, I'm Talon, the owner of Lone Lone Ranch. I went to the castle to deliver some milk, but I sat down here to rest. And I guess I fell asleep. I keep changing my accent. <laughs> what in tarnation? Mom's looking for me? I'm gonna check it. Wait, what? I totally- I hit A before I could read the rest of that. I messed up bad leaving Milan behind to wait for me. She's really gonna let me have it. Oh shit! <laughs> I keep smacking my microphone. Okay, so now I have to get over there. We shall do it by pushing the large boxes. You're getting there, Joe. You're getting there. I have to work on my bot. I have to get my, uh... I have to work on the, the link 
protection tidbits and I have to, uh... Wait, am I supposed to push it all the way or am I supposed to just push it to the edge? I think it's just supposed to go to the edge. I think. Can I make that jump? Oh, shit. Look down. Look down. Down. It's inverted. Fuck. I think it is supposed to go down. I think we're supposed to push it over. Oh, this is on PC, 90s gamer. I could play it on Wii U, but I'd play it on PC just out of convenience. <laughs> Why, thank you for posting links to my channel in my chat. Oh, nice. <laughs> Sorry, I'm drunk. That's okay. What you drinking on? I think he had one too many beers. There we go. So he's behind all of this, eh? Nice. We get to meet the princess! Finally, Mini Ninja's playing Zelda. Hey, welcome back, Zanny. The budget toucan. Oh, I love the budget toucan. It's a little baby toucan. I love that toucan. <laughs> Thank you for the toucan. You've never beaten this game either. Oh shit, wait. We don't want to be seen by them, right? Where am I supposed to go? Through the water? The other side, maybe? Wait, if I get caught, I'll get thrown out, right? Why is the camera fixed? This should make a toucan game. Oh my god, am I... Okay, well, I'm not all the way back in the beginning, so that's okay. Follow your nose to Fruit Loops. Wait till daylight time? Shit. So I have to go back out here and wait. Uh. So guys, how's it going? As we wait for daylight. Can I wait for daylight here? I don't think I can. A little backseating is fine. I mean, I've already played through like half of this game, so... I want to do the two can. Joe Pro hates this game? What? Joe, how can you hate this game? How can anybody hate this game? <laughs> Just waiting for the sun to come up. Why does- okay, Joe, please explain. Please explain why you hate this game. I need to know. <sighs> Joe Pro, what's wrong with you? Ah. Oh. <laughs> he must have been born in 2005. Okay, here comes the sun. And now we can go in. Alright, Joe, I, I need your logic on why you hate this game. You've gotta tell me why. Oh shit. Because it, oh, you don't like 3D Zelda games, do you? Berserk Pair. Wind Waker is actually my favorite Zelda game of all time. Because it was the first one I was actually able to play fully through and beat. Okay, gotta pay attention to what these guys do here. Shit. No, 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 no. Whew, that was close. What the hell? <laughs> Jump up the steps like a retard, Link. What? What do you mean they're atrocious? No, hi, Amin. Welcome back. 
What do you mean they're atrocious? I'm not atrocious. I love 3D Zelda games. They're beautiful. Oh, oh shit. Get up, get up, get up, get up. There we go. I'm gonna tippy toe across the top. And then drop down. <laughs> yes, he's very happy. <laughs> Get rupees in the middle or no balls. Alright, let's try it. If I die, I blame you. Shit. I'm so close to this guy, and yet he has no idea I'm behind him. <laughs> it's so slow! He needs to walk faster. Shut up, Navi. Nobody cares. There! Fuck you! I have testicles! Got him! Did you just say Kingdom Hearts sucked? Joe, we are no longer friends. Uh-uh. If that K-H means Kingdom Hearts... We're done. I love Kingdom Hearts. Yes, my testicles are bigger than yours. God, these guys walk so slow. There we go. Almost there. Guards walk away too slow. I guess to go fast. It'd be better to go up the left side or the right side. I'm gonna go up the left side. Because they're going in that direction. They don't turn around, do they? I don't think they do. I think we're good. Awesome. Fuck you, guards! No, be master, you are not a grown ass man. You're only what, 17? Now we can meet the princess! There she is! Look how pretty she is and adorable! She's your little royal face. Who? Who are you? How did you get past the guards? Oh, what's that? Is that a fairy? Da na na na! Oh, you're 18 now. Awesome. Happy birthday! I think I missed it at some point. Then are you? Are you from the forest? Oh, I should give her like a valley girl. Up. I like her voice. Then, like, you didn't happen to have, like, you know, the spiritual stone of the forest? Like, would you? You know that green, like, shining stone? Well, like, do you have it or not? Yes. <laughs> well, just as I thought. I, like, had a dream, and in the dream there were, like, dark storm clouds, like, billowing over Hyrule. But then, like, suddenly, like, a ray of light, like, shot out of the forest, and, like, a part of the ground, and clouds, like, came up out of the ground. And then, like, the light turned into this, this thing, and it held, like, a, a green shining stone, like, followed by, like, a fairy. <laughs> Zelda tits. 
I don't think those are her tits. I think that's just her shirt. It's like baggy. It's big. It's like a tunic. <laughs> I don't think um, eight-year-old Zelda has giant titties. <laughs> I know this is like a prophecy that someone would come from the forest, but uh, yeah, I uh, I thought you might like uh, be the one. Oh, I'm sorry. I got carried away with my story and like didn't even properly introduce myself. I'm Zelda. I'm like the princess of like Hyrule. Like, so what's your name? Is it just me or her eyebrows like lime green? Reminds me of the Jim's girlfriend in American Pie. <laughs> hey, Master Banda. Oh, I'm sorry you missed. Like, oh fuck. It's so strange. It's like somehow familiar. Okay then. Oh fuck. I'm gonna like tell you the secret of a sacred realm that's been like passed down by the royal family of like Hyrule and stuff. So, you should totally keep this a secret, okay? So, like, the legend goes like this. <laughs> Says that her and I are no longer friends because I don't like Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> How the fuck could you not like Kingdom Hearts, man? It's so fucking good. In fact, I need to play some Kingdom Hearts. I have the HD version on PS3! And I need to play through Birth by Sleep, I haven't done that yet. The feud has been started. If someone with a righteous heart, blah blah blah, I'm not even reading this. But I kinda remember what the story was. Someone with an evil heart touches it, the world will be consumed by evil, blah blah blah. Because Kingdom Hearts fucking rocks, yes! I mean, yeah, the first Kingdom Hearts had some control issues and some camera issues. But it's still fucking awesome. Disney and Final Fantasy together is fucking awesome. And my I just heard my husband come through the door. He's home. Welcome home! Which means I'll be going here in just a few minutes. Oh, that's right. Like, the Temple of Time. Hey, 4XS2? Works. Thanks for that follow. That's right, the Temple of Time is the entrance through like... which you can enter like the sacred realm from our world. But the entrance is like sealed with a stone wall that's like, it's called like the Tour of Time. And like in order to open the door, you have to collect like the spiritual stones. And like another thing you're gonna need is like, it's the royal family treasure that goes along with, you know, the legend. It's called, like, this Ocarina of Time thing, and you play, like, music on it. <laughs> I wish you had many little ones. Uh, no, we, we, don't, we, don't, we don't really want kids. It's still too soon to have kids. Fucking awesome. Oh. I also forgot to tell you. Thanks for all the follows, everybody. My goodness. I was like spying through this window just now. And like that thing I saw from my dream, those, you know, like, clouds and shit. I, be I think they like symbolize something that's th that man that's standing in there. Would you like look at him for me? Well, yes, I'll take a look at your man. My goodness, everybody. Thanks for the follows. Seems good. Can you see him? He's got like evil eyes and stuff. His name's like Ganondorf and he like leads the tribe of people called like the Gerudos. They come from the desert. And like even though he swears allegiance to my dad, like pretty sure he's not being honest. And I have to stop now. I'm tired of reading in the Valley Girl accent. <laughs> call him? No. I'm not gonna call him. He's probably gonna go take a nap. He doesn't have any idea what we're planning. He is he has no fucking clue what's about to happen. We're about to rock his world. In like... 10 years. 
And the Forsen boys have returned yet again. Welcome back, guys. Forsen boysen. <laughs> but like, I can sense he's evil and stuff. He's like totally after the Triforce. He totally only came to Hyrule just to steal that Triforce. And like, he wants to take over the world and stuff. Oh fuck! Now we're the only ones who protect Hyrule! <laughs> I wish I could just screenshot that. <laughs> Rip mods. No, oh, thank you, Polo. <laughs> Baby Rage! Oh man, that view count. Thanks for the follows, everybody. Maximus Capicus. Spamicus. <laughs> I'm like afraid that like that man is gonna like take down Hyrule. He's so scary. But it's a good thing you came along. Blah blah blah. So much dialogue! Find the other two spiritual stones. <laughs> Link, I don't believe you. I should have picked that. I think she gets a little pissed if you, if you say you don't believe her. So like, let's get that Triforce before he does, and then we can kick his ass. Oh, and like, one more thing, you should take this letter. I'm sure it'll be helpful later on, you're probably gonna need it. Sell this letter! Let's unfollow. Show wedding ring? Bam. It's not very big, but... Aww. It's just a band. <laughs> Alright guys, we just met Zelda, and we have the letter. Hey! There's Impa. Like, the most badass chick of all time. Wedding ring or riot? I just showed you guys. I am Impa of the Sheikas. I am responsible for protecting Princess Zelda. Blah de blah de blah de blah. I'm not gonna do that accent. I'm just gonna read it normally at this point. I'm kinda tired of accents. You are a courageous boy. You're heading out on a big new adventure, aren't you? My role in the princess's dream was to teach a, a melody to a boy from the forest. Blah blah blah. She's got really red scary eyes. I don't like her eyes. Racist mom. <laughs> I don't get the mom thing either. That's their thing, though. That's their thing. Thanks for the follow, Grubbins. This is an ancient melody passed down by the royal family. I've played this song for Princess Zelda as a lullaby ever since she was a baby. Oh, how sweet, you little baby Zelda. There's mysterious power in these notes. Now, listen carefully. What is she playing on? She just playing her hand, like, <laughs> just whistling, like, Miss Pointy Tits herself. That's a really sharp booby. You see that? It's like, her titty is like at like a 70 degree angle. It's like, super pointy tits. Like, she could put an eye out with those things. So sweet. Holding arrow, what face? Aw, oh, thanks for the follow. Mommy is doing titty talk. I mean, they're pretty pointy. I wouldn't want to give her a hug. Girly socks, thanks for the follow. If the castle soldiers find you, there will be trouble. Let me lead you out of the castle. Yay! You, brave lad. You must protect this beautiful land of Hyrule. Take a good look at that mountain. That is Death Mountain. Home of the Gorons. They live on a mountain called Death Mountain. They hold the spiritual stone of fire. 
the foot of Death Mountain, you will find my village. Kakariko. Oh yeah, I love the Kakariko Village song. I can't imagine having 20k viewers either. Like you said, that's like having a small, an entire small town watch you. And the chat would just be an endless waterfall of random shit. That is where I was raised, or that was born and raised. Blech. You should talk to some of the villagers there before you go up Death Mountain. The song I just taught you has some mysterious power. Only royal family members are allowed to learn the song. Remember, it will help to prove your connection with the royal family. The princess is waiting for you to return to the castle. God, this is so slow. Hey, thank you for that follow. Woohoo! Yay, viewers. <laughs> okay. So let's go ahead and go to Kakariko Village and I'll save there. Actually, I need to do this quick save state right here. Let's go to the village and save there. <laughs> yeah, I know, Joe. It's all good. It's all good. We always force in and chill. <laughs> do I want to do streaming full time? No, not really. It's, for me, this is just kind of a hobby. I don't think I would want to stream full time. It wouldn't be bad, but I don't think there's a lot of money to be made. Like, I like I like my job. I like what I do. It's Fat Mustache Man! What's that voice he just made? That sound. <laughs> I'm the boss of the carpenters that imp hired to improve this village and make it to our true city. But young men these days don't have any ambition. Do you know what I mean, kid? My workers are just running aimlessly around the village and they're not making any progress at all. Even my own son doesn't have a job. And he just wanders around all damn day. They're all fucking worthless piece of shits, I tell ya. I'm an X-ray tech, guys. Although I'm not working right now, that's why I'm streaming mostly during the daytime, is because I'm unemployed. But we're getting ready to move to Florida, and once we get moved and settled and I find a job, we won't get to stream as often. Okay. The only reason I get to stream a lot now is because I'm unemployed for the time being. Oh, well, sorry, Sleeve. We told her we were gonna go see Hyrule. She'd say, holy shit, Link, I want you inside of me. You're so brave and handsome. Oh, there's the cuckoo lady. She wants her chickens back. If somebody asks you what time it is, you reply to them, it's time to buy a watch. You're damn right. No, you guys aren't gonna lose me. I just won't get to stream as often. It'll, it'll probably go to night streams rather than day streams like I'm streaming right now. Okay, so I'm gonna save my game. And I'm gonna go. Before we go, shall we go on a raid? Yeah, lots of broken hips to X-ray in Florida. Yeah, there's a lot of old people down there. A lot of broken wrists and hips. Anyways, who wants to go on a raid? Let me see who's online. Let me see who's online. Who can we go raid right now? We have... Old school. Old school is speedrunning Super Metroid right now. I don't think Allie's online. Nope. So we can go raid old school if you guys want. Old school tribe. Oh my god, I can't see my chat. <laughs> Who am I gonna send the force and voice to? I think we're gonna go I think we're gonna go raid up old school tribe right now. Thanks for the follows, everybody. Thanks for hanging out with me today. It's been a whole lot of fun. I'm glad to finally pick this game up again and start playing it again. And hopefully, I'll finally finish it this time. Hopefully, I won't get distracted. But with you guys watching me, I'll have to play it all the way through, or else I'll never hear the end of it. Anyways, let me get a link up in chat for you guys. I'll throw up a host for him as well. We're gonna get in there, and we're gonna spam the fuck out of his chat. So, give me just a moment here. Yep, he is doing some uh, speed run practice right now for Super Metroid. Oh, he's not here! He's, he's actually not here at the moment. I think I might just have to let you guys go. I can send you back over to Forsen. He's on break right now. 
Old school is actually not at his PC at the moment. <laughs> I know, Zamped, I know. But, um, yeah, he's not. He's AFK right now. And nobody else that I typically raid is online. Orson boys! Smoke stream every day. Yeah. Well, guys, I'm just gonna go. I'm just gonna go. I don't have anybody to raid right now, so it's kind of disappointing. I know, but I don't know who geekiness is. I don't know who geekiness is. Sorry. Anyways, guys. Yeah, I'm just. I'm just gonna go ahead and go. Um. I should be back online tomorrow. I'm gonna try to get online earlier tomorrow, actually. Bye, everybody. Have an awesome day. Thanks you so much for hanging out, with, hanging out with me today, guys. It's been fun. Um, yeah. So catch me online tomorrow. I'll send out a tweet before I actually start streaming. Bye, everybody. Have an awesome day, and we'll see you later.